Hey guys, in this video we are going to discuss that whether your J means preparation would be enough or not for cracking BITSAT exam. There has been a lot of confusion, a lot of myths, a lot of misconceptions around this point that do I need to actually do something else for BITSAT or my J means preparation or J advanced preparation would be sufficient for it. So in this video, I'm going to share with you all five very, very important points, basically five execution points that you should keep in your mind if you are aiming for a good score in your bit site. Make sure that you have subscribed to this channel and have also pressed the bell icon. Let's get started. So first of all, you need to understand that from a preparation perspective, from a preparation point of view, your J means preparation is 200% sufficient for bit site. In fact, it's more than enough if you are aiming for even 300 or 350 plus score in your bit site exam. Preparation wise, your J means preparation is more than enough please note this point but from problem solving point of view from a practice perspective you should do five things that i'm going to discuss with you in this video because otherwise it would be very difficult it might be very difficult for you to gain that amount of speed and accuracy and that clarity and confidence which can get you high scores like 350 plus and even 400 plus so without much ado coming on to the very first point the very first thing that you must do apart from preparing for J mains is to start solving the objective questions from NCRT exemplar and especially that of chemistry. This is very, very important because what happens while we are preparing for J mains is that we generally encounter conceptual questions or we generally encounter questions which are of the difficulty level of J mains. And here I'm just talking about the chemistry portion. But if you will observe the, the kind of questions that have come in the past few years in bit side chemistry section you would see that most of them are from between the lines in chemistry from between the lines in your ncrt chemistry right so if you are not doing ncrt example there are chances that you might not be able to answer some of the questions that have directly come from from your ncrt so point number one is that you have to do just make sure just keep it like a mandatory or a compulsory thing to do before your bit side that you need to solve at least once all the objective questions both single correct as well as multiple correct from your NCERT chemistry exemplar class 11th plus class 12th. This was point one. Now let's get on to the point number two. Just like we have talked about NCERT exemplar, the importance of NCERT exemplar for the chemistry section of BITSAT, for physics, the previous 10 years question papers of NEET, yes, the NEET exam, which is the entrance test for medical aspirants, those are very very important because if you will observe in the past trends of BITSAT as well as NEET you would find that the difficulty level of physics section in the NEET examination matches or almost resembles to that of BITSAT. So practicing the NEET papers and that too with a timer by your side so that you can keep a track of how much time you are taking on an average in solving every question is very very important especially for physics. If you want you can do the same for chemistry as well but make sure that you are doing it for at least the physics it is really really going to help you eventually after a month or two when you would have solved previous four to five years of neat papers you would start to see the rise in confidence and the rise in your marks in your mock test as well point number three we have talked of chemistry we have talked of physics now let's come on to mathematics what is that source through which we can practice questions in order to get the exact feel of bitsat mathematics section you may find it strange but the rd sharma subjective book Yes, the R.D. Sharma subjective books that comes for your board exam preparation has got around 40 to 50 objective questions at the end of each chapter. And those 40, 50 questions are of almost the same level to that of BITSAT. I'm not claiming that all of them are of the same level. Some questions you may find might be of J main level as well. And some question might be just of NCRT level. But combinedly, if you will see practicing those 40, 50 questions, from each chapter of RD Sharma is definitely going to help you because those are kind of a benchmark. Okay, we all know that Bits Pirani never releases its previous questions. Okay, so there is no authentic source from where we can practice the Bits Art questions. For J means we have got P previous questions. For NEED, for J Advanced, for almost every other exam, we have got PYQs through which we can assess if our preparation is up to the mark or not. But for Bits Art, this is a very big problem. And to solve that problem, what you can do is that just go to RD Sharma subjective book, start doing all the objective questions. It is certainly going to take you a lot of time, but we have still got six to seven months before our bit 
if that happens in the month of May as usual. So in the next six to seven months, it would be very easy or I should say it won't be much difficult for you to complete all the chapters from Adi Sharma and I'm not telling you to do any other thing but only the objective questions. So point number one was chemistry NCRT exemplar. Point number two was physics neat PYQs and point number three is mathematics objective questions from Adi Sharma subjective book. Point number four and this is very important because many of you have been asking me this for uh, quite a while now. This is related to our logical reasoning portion from where can we practice our logical reasoning questions. So basically there are two sources and should you go for both of them or should you just go for one of them is completely your choice is going to depend upon the time that you think you have right now and what all other exams you are aiming for. First source is your Aryan Bitsat guide. So the logical reasoning portion in Aryan Bitsat guide is quite good and you can just stick to it for preparing the logical reasoning portion for Bitsat. Another book that you can refer to and it's my favorite book if you want to uh, not just crack Bitsat but any other exam that has a section on mental ability or logical reasoning is the book called Master Mental Ability in 30 Days. And the best thing about that book is that if you will follow that on a daily basis then in the next 30 days you would be able to almost completely grasp everything that can come as a question that can come as a topic in your bitsat not only in bitsat but any other exam as well that contains mental ability or logical reasoning as a portion but make sure that you are not starting doing that book from this instant from this instant i mean from as early as november december or january like just giving 30 to 40 at max 50 days to logical reasoning is going to be more than sufficient. So start doing that book, be it, our, be it Aryan Bitsat Guide or Master Mental Ability in 30 days. Start doing such books when you have got 50 to 60 days remaining for Bitsat exam. And there is no need, there is absolutely no need to start doing those books and start practicing English or logical reasoning before five or six months of the exam, right? So just keep this point in mind. And yeah, like that was all for the fourth point. The last point is, are mock tests. You all must be aware that mock tests are a very very important aspect of anyone's bitsat preparation. No matter how much prepared you are, no matter how many concepts, how deep you know a concept in your syllabus, the major, the primary factor that is going to decide your final score in your bitsat exam is going to be your paper attempting strategy, is going to be how many questions you have attempted what is your accuracy? What is your speed? And whether you are able to attempt most of the questions within the given time frame or not. And for that, the best way to practice is by giving mock tests. Now the question comes at what are the best mock tests out in the market? So I've already made a quite detailed video, video on this topic. You would very, you can very easily find it either in the description or in the uh, somewhere here in the I button. I would highly recommend you to go and watch this video because I have compared various different mock tests and I have come to the conclusion based upon a statistical analysis that I did of my juniors which are there in Bits Pilani, Goa and Hyderabad campus. I talked to some 50 to 100 students who recently gave their Bitsat uh, to be precise just last year in 2020 and based upon their review I have put forward in that video that which are the best mock tests in the market and which are the mock tests whose difficulty level resemble the most with the actual Bitsat exam. But just to give you a hint in the nutshell, you can refer to two mock tests that are there for Bitsat in the market and this is not a sponsored video. Number one is Mbibe and number two is Methongo. So yeah, these are the two mock tests that you should give and make sure that you're giving at least five mock tests and then you are also doing paper analysis because this, the fifth point is going to be a major score deciding factor for you all. Okay, this is very, very important. Generally, people tend to ignore this thing because they feel that if I'm able to solve a question at my home, if I'm able to solve all the questions from a particular chapter, why won't I be able, why won't I be able to solve a question in the Bitsat exam? But you might still not be able to solve a question in your Bitsat exam because of the time factor, because of the stress and because of the speed factor, right? So make sure that you are giving at least five mock tests at your end at least five mock tests at your end before you give your actual Bitsat exam. So that was it for this video. If you really enjoyed watching it, please make sure that you like this video, hit the subscribe button and don't follow. Uh, don't forget to press the bell icon. Let me know in the comment section that which topic you want me to make a video on. Let me know what you feel about this video, any reviews, any feedback or anything you want to share with me about your preparation 
what all chapters you are you find yourself stuck in what all kind of difficulties you are facing let me know everything in the comment section and we'll meet in the next video till then keep preparing keep revising stay happy stay focused don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon we'll meet in the next video jai hind vande mataram